guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to film my skincare routine now my skincare routine has you know evolved over the years my primary concerns now i'm older is anti-aging but also i do still get oily combination skin but the skincare i'm going to show you is kind of like a core if you will and then you can branch off with what you want to add in in terms of if you are oily if you are super dry and i found this to be the most efficient skincare i've ever used and um, i originally paid for it all by myself the brand did kindly start gifting some to me and i have continued to purchase it in between the time they get a new launch i'll sometimes receive that in the post i've literally recommended it to everybody tommy's brother uses it and um, we bought his sister the entire skincare range for christmas my sister uses it one of my best friends is obsessed with it she's always sending me pictures of her skin saying look how good my skin looks since you recommended the products and i've had tons of compliments from you guys saying that my skin looks a lot better the texture of it is a lot better because you guys will know that that is kind of my main concern i am by no means a skincare expert i am a makeup artist so i'm just going to tell you what has worked for me why I love the brand, why I continue to buy the products for myself. Um, it is not sponsored and there are some other brands within my skincare regime. So I'm gonna show you the morning routine. I'm gonna come back later, remove my makeup and show you what I do in the evening. So the core product range is by a dermatologist called Dr. Sam Bunting. These are her products. I love how clean and simplistic everything is. Even when it comes down to the ingredients, she uses actives, but they're really clean and simple. All of her products are non-comedogenic, no fragrance. It's one of the reasons I absolutely love the skincare range because it is made by a dermatologist who specializes in perfecting skin. So I've had a shower. I've washed my face with the Flawless Cleanser, which is this one by Dr. Sam. And the idea is that you only need to cleanse one but I still prefer to use a double cleanse method in the evening that's just me so this is a clear jelly cleanser as you can see super effective fragrance free you just work it into the skin there's no oily residue it is so uncomplicated that's the only way to really describe it this is suitable for all skin types whether you have redness acne prone skin sensitive skin it's really gentle I apply one pump of this in the morning to damp skin work it in for around 60 seconds rinse it off good to go now in the dr sam bunting range there's not a toner and i've always kind of been of that mindset that you cleanse tone moisturize serums in between if you're using them so the toner i just like to kind of briefly spritz my skin with is this one by la roche posay this is the zero sink toner and i like this one because it is geared to people with more oily skin um, and i don't go crazy with it i give it a shake and i lightly mist my skin that's it as I said, there isn't one in the Dr. Sam Bunting range, but I think that's because normally the pH level in your skin after you've washed your face goes kind of a little bit crazy. Where this has an acid, mantle-friendly pH balance of 5.0, I assume there is no need to necessarily go in for toner. I could be wrong. Next, I like to go in with some active ingredients, but before I do that, I like to just protect the rim around my lips and also the skin around the optical bone because this area is slightly thinner and this is obviously a lot softer. So you apply a barrier first and then you can go in with your actives without worrying that you can irritate that part of your skin. Dr. Sam does a lip product um, which I kind of like to use every now and again. The only reason I don't use it every day is because I do find it almost has a rebound effect. The more I use it, the more my lips feel like it needs it. It contains lanolin, which is similar to the lano lips, and it also contains a ceramide. It's a really thick balm, and it does take a really good squeeze to get any out, and it's really thick. If you're suffering with really dry lips or you're new to using actives, then this is a good one because it's a really good barrier. On my lips, I do tend to like something that has a bit of a flavor or a scent to it. This one is the pear one by Lana Lips, and I love this one. But I wanted to show the Dr. Sam Bunting one because it is a phenomenal one. I just found I couldn't use it day in, day out. Now, when it comes to anti-aging and your eyes, your best protection at preventing aging happening prematurely is SPF. From my understanding, eye creams don't tend to do a lot more than a good moisturizer. So Dr. Sam doesn't have a specific eye cream. Instead, she recommends that you use her moisturizer as your goggle, in a sense. Um, this goes around the eyes as a barrier before you put your actives on. And I've also got a couple of eye creams that I like to use. This one is CeraVe. So this is an affordable one that I can just put on around my eyes. So you can use whatever you like, but if you are buying this and you don't wanna buy anything conditional, then you can absolutely use a tiny amount of the moisturizer 
around your eyes as a barrier cream. So this one by CeraVe contains hyaluronic acid and has three essential ceramides. So I take a tiny amount, pop it around the eyes and again be really really gentle um, because your eye area is really thin and you don't want to be dragging that area. Um, I'm going 360 with it, so all the way around, top lid and bottom, and I'm just patting it down. I love that this one is like a rapid absorption. I found that some eye creams are too emollient, and I'm not looking at this one to be super plumping because I'm going to put moisturiser on and an SPF, so that's going to be enough um, around my eyes to create a nice plumping effect. So if you saw my last makeup tutorial, you know I spoke about the fact that I've managed to sort of tighten my pores. Now, my main concern for pores is just on my nose. They're a little bit visible and I don't like it. Not all pores need to be emptied. Um, you'll see a lot of people saying that they hate their pores and that they've got lots of blackheads. Um, you'll see with blackheads that they sit almost above the skin because it is like a clogged pore. So it'll always have a slight raised appearance. Whereas deep pores that have a little bit of oil in tend to create a bit of a shadow. So they look like they need emptying. People confuse a deep pore with what is a, essentially a blackhead. So you would have kind of approached those differently. By trying to empty a deep pore, um, you are going to create an issue where the pore then almost just becomes a bit loose um, and then it's damaged forever. So you don't want to keep squeezing deep pores. You can use a product such as a BHA, which is an acid that tightens the skin. And I would say if you wanna learn more about it, you would be best off educating yourself by following people like Dr. Sam Bunting or Caroline Hirons, who are experts in skincare and will tell you all the ins and outs and the details about products such as BHAs, AHAs, and what their purpose is. The one I use is this one by Paula's Choice. So this is a chemical exfoliant, and this one contains 2% BHA, and I use this after I've cleansed and then spritz toned my face, and I only use it on my nose. And I use this only in the mornings, because in the evenings I'm using part of the Dr. Sam Bunting range, and I just feel like the two wouldn't mix very well. So I pop a tiny amount onto a reusable cotton pad and I just gently wipe over the areas that bother me, which really is just on my nose. When I say that my pores have tightened, it's when I'm putting makeup over the top, the pores just kind of like disappear so easily. Whereas before, if you took your hand with a little bit of liquid foundation and went like that, it would go over the pores and leave tiny little holes and it looks horrible until you've worked it in with a brush. Um, whereas now the pores, although they're still there, because that's pores and that's skin and that's natural, but what I'm saying is the actual pocket where the pore is, is tighter and smaller and it's not as deep. So that's what this product has done. It's tightened the pores and it'll only stay like that for the duration that I'm using it. So I use that and then I leave that to soak in for a couple of minutes before I go in with the next product. It may not be what Dr. Sam recommends, but this is what's working for me. And I've used actives on my skin for a long time. I would say if you're new to actives, don't go and use an abundance of different products because your skin will get sensitive very, very quickly and it'll put you off. <laughs> so I've cleansed my skin, I've toned it, I've put a barrier on my lips and around my eyes of moisturizer and a lip balm and I've used my BHA on my nose again if you don't suffer with pores or it's not one of your main concerns you don't have to worry about that part once that's soaked in I like to go in with the Dr. Sam Bunting flawless brightly serum now this is a complete game changer for me this is really really phenomenal at sorting out skin texture and just creating a really flawless canvas before I started buying this for myself, I was actually using niacinamide and azelaic acid. Those ingredients were the first things that really helped with skin texture, but this just took it to another level. The 10% azelaic acid tackles pigmentation, redness, it clears pores. It's a really, really effective active. And then it contains a 5% niacinamide, which is a barrier boosting vitamin B that unclogs pores um, and again, just really improves skin texture. They both are incredible at just smoothing your skin. And the Bakuchu oil is great if you are somebody who suffers with 
acne or blemish prone skin or you're someone like me with the aging concerns this is really good for that because oil is a plant seed extract i think that thinks it's a retinoid but it's not it also contains another ingredient i'm gonna put it on screen so i can't remember off the top of my head what it is um but again four incredible ingredients in one serum i was having to apply it my niacinamide wait for that to soak in then my azelaic acid and wait for that to soak in whereas all this is in one i'm so in love with the skincare regime again it's not sponsored um, and i've been paying for these myself and they're not cheap you get what you pay for so it comes in this little pump so it just dispenses the right amount for you and you only use this one in the morning and i pop this everywhere the only place i don't take it is on the actual eyes and um, i do it all the way around and just feather it on but i don't take it on my eyes once i've got that on i like to just press it into my skin again rapid absorption no oiliness no tackiness it's lovely but you do need to let that soak in it really is so worth taking the time to do it in the mornings obviously this is going to take me a lot longer because i'm sitting there explaining it all to you but in the morning it just takes me 10 minutes to get done in between getting dressed dr sam does recommend with the brightly and the nightly serums is that if you are new to actives that you start with kind of like half a pump um, and you can use that every other night and then slowly within sort of two to four weeks you build it up to using it nightly um, and then that way that should prevent the irritation happening so once that's soaked in you can then go in with your moisturizer i love the dr sam ones this one is the kind of full fat version of the moisturizer and this is the light one i assumed the light one was for the daytime and that the sort of like slightly more rich one would be for the evening but i think i was using them wrong for quite a while this one is a bit more cohesive with your actives in the morning rather than the actives that you're using at night and this one is fortified with 5% niacinamide and that helps to brighten and boost your complexion. And this one is suitable for all skin types. So I'm gonna use one pump of that. It's so lovely. Again, fragrance free, extremely silky and it feels really luxurious, but it has that rapid absorption. And um, this one I'm gonna take up over the eyes 360 and then up onto the forehead and down the neck. It's lovely. I love using these products. So as I said, this is rapid absorption, but do make sure it's fully absorbed before you go in with your sunscreen. Now, when it comes to sunscreen, you know, I've always been a fan of the City Skin by Murad. I've always loved this one. I like that it contains zinc oxide. Um, I am someone who suffers with melasma, so if I go in the sun, I'm very prone to creating a lot of melanin on top of the skin and getting very dark patches. So I've always been a fan of the Murad ones. So I do tend to mix it up depending on what i'm trying to achieve in terms of my skin for the day this one is super lightweight this is the essential skin seed day moisturizer with an spf of 30. this one's really thin and very fluid um, and i like this one if i'm in a rush because i don't have to wait for it to absorb for too long but it's really liquidy and i don't have to work it in whereas this one's a lot thicker um, i don't particularly love the smell of this one and then i also adore the sunscreen by Dr. Sam. And again, I like to use this one because it is kind of the core of my skincare. It's everything that I use and love and know works. So it makes sense to use it. The only thing I find with using niacinamide as a lake acid and then an SPF is that sometimes it peels up and you'll know what I mean. You rub the skin and then it kind of like rolls off again and it feels like you're wasting the product. So Dr. Sam actually recommends how best to apply it to prevent peeling. And I like hers because it is a broad spectrum SPF 50, but you do need six pumps of this, three for your face and three for your neck. It lasts, but it doesn't last as long when you're doing three pumps for your face and three pumps for your neck. That does mean that if you're not using three pumps, you're not getting SPF of 50. And it's the same with every single sunscreen you use. If you're only using half the amount of the product, then you're only getting half the protection. Since I purchased that one, Dr. Sam actually brought out um, a range of three flawless Gossamer Broad Spectrum SPF 50. This one is the untinted version, but she has two tinted versions as well, and they're universal shades. So if you're somebody who wants to sort of like grab and go in the morning, get your SPF on, but you don't have time for a base, and you're somebody who likes a light base, then check out the flawless Gossamer. It actually is completely sold out and has only just come back in stock. I'm going to start with the three pumps. So I'm going to dot it around my face in the same way that Dr. Sam recommends. 
So this contains 11.8% zinc oxide, which I said is really good for someone like me who suffers with melasma. Um, it gives you a bit more of that protection that you need when you're out in the sun. And it also contains 4% titanium dioxide. So you're getting a broad spectrum UVA and UVB protection. Just glide it over your skin. The more you do this kind of like vigorous rubbing, you're gonna start to find that you get that pillin effect. Now don't worry if your skin feels a little bit fair to begin with. As soon as it absorbs, you don't get a white cast or anything. It's lovely. It's also enriched with a triple hydration and it feels so luxurious on the skin. It's really lovely. So you can see I've got a tiny bit here and a tiny bit here. I always get it around the jawline where it peels up a little bit. I like to go in with the palms of my hands and just press it into the skin. All that excess product that I've not kind of rubbed in because I don't want to disturb the base is getting pushed into the skin and it's absorbing um, without creating that pillin effect. So that is my morning routine. Honestly, it's really quick in the mornings and this has honestly been so, so effective. And I will list and link all the products down below and I will come back later and show you the products I use when I take my makeup off in the evening. So it is the end of the day. I have taken off the little bit of mascara that I had on. I decided to have a bit of a makeup free day. Again, because we're gonna be using actives this evening, I want to make sure that I've got a bit of a barrier so even when I'm having a makeup free day, I still cleanse my skin at night to remove the SPF. So I've only used one pump of the Dr. Sam Bunting Flawless Cleanser, but if I was using makeup and SPF, then I would have done two pumps. So we've got our barrier on the lips. I'm now gonna go in with a barrier around the eyes. I'm gonna use the Dr. Sam Flawless Moisturizer. Really only need a very tiny amount. And again, this just prevents the actives penetrating this area of your skin. Don't worry too much if you do overlap because this is gonna create that barrier. The sensitivity will be far less. Again, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my toner. You can do this before you do your kind of mask goggle. Um, I just forgot, I'm gonna do it now. Super light spritz. So every other night, I like to alternate between the Nightly Serum by Dr. Sam, which is like Brightly, but the Brightly is for the morning and the Nightly is for night. And this Skin Vital Retimate, this is super expensive, but my dermatologist recommended it because I wanted a retinol that was kick-ass for anti-aging, um, but without downtime that tretinoin does. So this is a 3% retinol that I use every other night because I still want to use the nightly. But this one is great for people with sensitive skin. The reason you can't use them together is because they both have active ingredients and it would just be too much for your skin. So Sam always describes this as a grown up glow that you get to the skin when you're using these kind of products. Um, and I really like that. I think it's a nice way to describe it. This is one pump and as you can see, it's yellow compared to the Brightly Serum, which is white. And this just softens your laughter lines. It tightens pores. It has niacinamide, azelaic acid in, bakuch oil. So all of the same three ingredients that are in the Brightly. Um, but the fourth ingredient is what differs in both the products. The fourth ingredient that's different in this product is the Gran Active Retinoid. So with the Brightly Serum in the mornings, it contains 5% niacinamide. In the evenings, the nightly one contains 10% niacinamide. It contains 2% Gran Active Retinoid, which is why I alternate nights with my retinol and it has five percent of the azelaic acid which again is great for unclogging pores smoothing your skin and reducing pigmentation and the nightly contains one percent bakuch oil whereas the brightly contains 0.05 percent i think it is um so it's half the amount in the mornings once that has soaked in i then like to go in with the dr sam flawless moisturizer light again this one just goes on better in the evenings with the nightly serum and it is a great one for those of you with combination skin, blemish prone skin. This is a really lightweight gel cream texture and you only need a little amount of it because it just goes a long way. It's the silkiest moisturizer in the world. Um, if you try it, you'll know what I mean. It just glides on so lovely. Yes, they're expensive, but as I said, you do get what you pay for. Um, and I do buy these products. I've only had a handful of them sent through. The rest of them I've paid for all by myself. And I am gonna link them below. It will be an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you any more to use my affiliate link. It just means I get a little something back from it. But that again does not mean this video is sponsored. And I only am doing this video because you guys kept asking me about my skin and what I was using. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful and helpful. As I said, I see these as the kind of core elements 
of skincare and then if you think of it as a tree you kind of add in the bits that you want I'm really really excited for you guys to try the brand I hope that I'm able to spread a bit more awareness about the brand if you go onto the Dr Sam Bunting website you'll see that everything basically has five star reviews like thousands of five star reviews it's an incredible incredible brand dr sam bunting has a youtube channel um i will link it below for you because she explains about all of her products she talks about other products as well not just her own range she talks about skincare issues so yeah that's my skincare i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found it useful please educate yourself don't just go off of my word this is what works for me thank you all so much for watching don't forget i will list and link everything down below please feel free to use the affiliate links. I would totally appreciate it, but feel free not to if it makes you feel uncomfortable. Again, it doesn't cost you anything extra to use them. And I will see you next week. Bye.